Metallics are for making your material look metallic or reflective. So the first thing is just a general full shiny metallic, super smooth and full metallic. It looks like a uh, polished chrome. And it is sampling the sky. So right now you can see the sky in it. You're not going to see the sun because that's dynamic. But you'll see the sky. And the next one, you can actually see a different sky. What's happening here is that it's using the baked cube map. So if I select this, you can see in the metallic settings, there is a baked cube map as the first option that's being forced on. The baked cube map is sort of always there and it takes over if the world you're in or the scene you're in has no, um, it has no reflection probe. So when a world is generated, or when somebody makes a world, it has reflection probes throughout it that you have to sort of manually place. And if people don't know what they're doing, they can forget those, and that's when the baked cube map will come into play. So just to make sure your model looks okay with um, no reflection probes in the world, you can just check this to force it on and look at how it looks. You can also just force this on whenever you want if you want to permanently have a specific cube map visible. Next up we have reflection tint. All this is doing is tinting the reflection. So it's taking that skybox and tinting it a specific color. Next up we have the RGB tint a mask. So what's happening here is the RGB value of the texture is tinting the reflection and then the A value or the alpha value is masking it. So you can see here you have these little discord icons and then in, and they're fully like metallic and shiny but in between them is not metallic at all so it's just masking out the metallic part after that we have the metallic map and this is so this whole thing is maximum shiny or maximum smooth but it is it has like a map on it for where it should be metallic you see these more look like more metal looking parts that's where the texture is white and then where the texture is black is going to be not metallic at all the smoothness map is what you see here so this one's full metallic across the board but some parts are smoother than other others so the smoothness value is it's literally just how like how clear the reflection is so if you lower the smoothness, let me just go do that, you just see it becomes blurry. So it's pretty much zero smoothness is going to be very blurred, and one smoothness is going to be sort of like a mirror. And then the last one is sort of just a random effect using um, tint masks and smoothness masks and all that stuff, and then just panning them around. You can have a look at the settings if you want to see how that's done. That covers all of metallics. If you have any questions about this or anything else in the shader, feel free to join the Discord. There's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.